you should always believe in yourself. And until then, I'm going to believe in you till then. Hey, howdy, hey, train wreck. How are you today? I am the glorious train wreck mom. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. Don't forget to get your ticket punched. This channel is a safe place for all train wreck moms, except here we don't give you a latte and a puppy. We give you sarcasm and humor. Let's talk about believing in yourself for right now. This time of year is really hard for a lot of people. It's gray, it's a great big bucket of suck out there, and it really starts taking its toll. If you have like seasonal affective disorder, yeah, dude, it's just no bueno. You know, the, the height of the holidays is over, and now we're in this weird, funky slump, and those little brain weasels, they start chewing, and they start saying things that aren't really accurate, and they make you think things. I'm here to help you fight the brain weasels because you should always believe in yourself because sometimes you're the only person who will. And if you don't believe in yourself, that takes away all hope. And sometimes hope is all you have. It's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna work out. It may not work out the way you thought, but it works out. Sometimes God, the universe, whatever you believe in, has other plans. It's all going to work out. Like I said, it's not going to work out to your plan. Because it's not up to you to know how this is all supposed to go. But it's going to be okay. Things do get better. It's probably rough right now. Trust me, I've been there, guys. I have been there. I have been without food in my house to the point where I was putting salt and sugar in water to keep me going just so my kids would have enough food. At one point, almost six years ago, I was homeless. I was homeless with my kid, a nine-year-old, who was two weeks out from starting school. I was two bucks in my pocket, couldn't get a bank account so that my mother could transfer me money to try to get in a place of our own. I was sleeping on my sister's couch, but it was one of those, it's like, I know I can't stay here forever. I didn't even have a car, so I couldn't even get to work, and I was threatened with losing my job. I know how bad it can be, guys. I've been there, okay? I know how bad it can be to think your only way out is a permanent way out. It gets better. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep believing that there's something better around the corner because there is. I promise you there is. You just have to keep going. And it sucks sometimes, okay? I know. But you are worthy of great things. You are capable of incredible feats. You are a human being. Do you know what that means? You're not a ferret. You're not a cat. You're not a dog. You're not anything else. You are a human being with the power of imagination and creation and art. And you have something in you that is great. You have greatness in you. Sometimes we're a little afraid to let that out. Because sometimes our greatness is really great. And we're afraid of what other people will say and think. You know what? Screw them. Screw them. They don't count. They don't matter. Their words and their opinions do not pay your bills. Okay? What they think ain't nothing. You do you. Because you have it in you. And you gotta let the world see that. You gotta let the world know that you are a force to be reckoned with and that you can do this thing called life. You will not let it beat you down. You will fight every day for what you care about. And you can do this thing. You can own it. You can make it call you ma'am. You can do this. 
And I know there are times you're looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking, I'm not worthy of love. I'm not worthy of someone to care about me. You are. You are so lovable. There is someone out there right now waiting to squeeze your face because your face is squishy and wonderful and amazing and someone just wants to go up to you and smooch you. They just want to grab you and go, because you are a lovable, caring, worthy human being. You are worth so much more than you believe. I wish you guys could see yourselves the way I see you. I wish you could see the potential, the wonder and glory that is your own self. The time is now. It's January, it's the beginning of the year. The time is now to go out there and seize your opportunities, seize your life. Stop letting life run you. You need to start running your life You can do it. Stop letting people tell you how to live your life, how to be, what color your hair should be, how many piercings, how many tattoos, how many kids. This is you. You do you, baby. You can do this. So many times I heard while I was in school that writing was never going to pay my bills. I let adults who had let life beat them down tell me how to live my dreams and because of that I'm just getting started at 40 years old living my dreams I want better for you than that I want better for you than having to ask to go to the bathroom I want better for you than having to wear a name tag I want you to live your dreams and the time is now And this slump, this gray funk, this horrible little road that, you know, ditch that you're in, it's going to pass. This too shall pass. I'm not Gandalf standing here going, you shall not pass. I'm telling you, this shall pass. Push Gandalf off the bridge. Keep on keeping on. You go chase them hobbits and you take that ring and you claim it. Okay? Because you can do this. You can be who you really are. Now is really the time for that. This year that has just passed was the year that taught us we can be us. We can be ourselves. We can be our individualistic selves. At the, the glorious train wrecks that we are. We can be those people. We can be purple hair. We can be short hair. We can be a little overweight. We can be a little loud with some foul mouths. And it's okay. Because you can be who you really are. If you're really an artist, then go art. Art hard. But do it. This is where you can be you, okay? And when you're really yourself, when you're living your passion, when you're living your dreams, when you're chasing it, That's when the best is yet to come because things just keep getting better and better and better. When you stop fighting against who you really are and start actualizing that and realizing that and living that, then you see, oh my gosh, I could have been doing this all along and things are just getting better and better and better for me. Remember, you are made of the same stuff stars are made out of. You're made out of stardust. Think about that. The same things that shine in the night and give us light and hope every night when we wish on them. That's in your soul. That's in your DNA. It's who you are. You were born to sparkle. You were born to shine. You are stronger than you think. You are so much stronger than you think. Look back at every time you thought life was going to win and beat you down. And look at where you're standing now. You currently have a 100% success rate of showing life who's boss. And it may not feel like it, but if you're still here, you're still breathing, 
there you go. If you can stand on your own two feet, you've got that. Now take a step. If you can't stand on your own two feet, then just try to put them on the ground. You can do these things. You are so strong and you can do this. I have faith in you. I know you can do these things. You are so worthy of everything you have always wanted. And I know you can achieve it. And until you can believe in yourself, I'll believe in you. I want to know what do you believe you can accomplish? What is your goal? And what are we going to help you get to this year? Throw those down in the comments because I want to hear everything and I want to celebrate every victory, every moment. Even if that victory for one of my friends today was getting up and getting in the shower for the first time in five days. Depression is a liar. Anxiety is a thief. Okay? She beat it today and she took a shower and she said, oh my gosh, I forgot how good this feels. I'm gonna have to do this again tomorrow. First time in five days. We can do this together. I believe in you and I want you to believe in yourself. That's all I've got for today, train wrecks. If this is your first time here, then welcome aboard. Glad to have you with us. Don't forget to get your ticket punched. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and go ahead and ring my bell. Ring my bell. So you get to see this on a regular basis. I would also love for everybody to hit like, comment, and share. Throw those comments below. I love reading everything you guys send me. It makes me get all the warm fuzzies, especially when I first wake up at 5 in the morning because that's just ridiculous. Remember, this channel is a safe space for all train wreck moms. Remember, we don't give you a latte and a puppy. We give you sarcasm and humor, except on this one because it was kind of serious. <laughs> that's all I've got for today, train wrecks. So, all aboard. Beep, beep.